Good afternoon, everyone! Welcome back! <laughs> Hopefully, hindi na kayo nagsasawa sa akin, di ba? Nakita nyo na, napanood nyo na ako kanina umaga. Nandito na naman ako. Ang pulit-pulit talaga ni Mentor Myron, okay? Just kidding. Of course, this is gonna be a different show. Earlier today, we had our uh, happy uh, customers, happy employees, happy business, okay? Now, for this afternoon, we're coming back for the next episode of our online show called Communicate, being the best communicator that you are. Everything that you guys need to know to correct and improve your English language proficiency, interpersonal communication, and intra, intra, okay? Personal communication. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, mentor Myron Santana, the corporate enter trainer and soft skills guru. At uh, hopefully, no, sa mga bagay na i-discuss natin ngayon, eh, maging value-adding uli ang uh, katapusan ng inyong uh, araw. Okay, today is uh, Wednesday, 3.06 p.m. And I want to help you guys maximize your day-to-day. All right? Kung inyo pong uh, napanood yung uh, nakaraang episode natin, so I already introduced you to the aspects involved in uh, correcting or improving your English language proficiency. All right, diba? Define natin yung mga terms. Kumbaga sa luto, diba? Yung mga ingredients to a perfect recipe. Well, nobody's perfect, but at least when you speak in English, all right, it's as if uh, it's your uh, native tongue, all right? O hindi man, you're able to express yourself comfortably and you yourself, okay, can be understood as comfortably by, of course, the persons you're speaking with, all right? So, um... Dinigfine natin lahat ng mga ingredients to recipe to success na yon, di ba? Tapos, uh, sinimulan na natin yung pronunciation topic. And then, isa sa mga challenge talaga natin, di ba? So, magaling mag-ingles ang mga Pilipino eh. Magaling tayong mag-ingles, malawak naman kahit paano ang ating vocabulary. Pero kapag tayo nagsasalita in English, dito ngayon maririnig natin yung mapapansin natin yung tinatawag na Filipino accent. So, kapag ikaw ay nagtatrabaho halimbawa sa industriya na call center industry o kaya eh, ikaw ay nagtatrabaho sa isang kumpanya na merong uh, foreigner at uh, nagkataon na yung foreigner na yon ay Amerikano, di mas makakatulong kapag we can neutralize the way we say words, all right? The way we produce sounds in our words. So, sa ating nasimulan na ba pronunciation, yung vowels, so I differentiated yung uh, limited five vowels ng Pilipino sa Tagalog versus okay yung nabinlimang vowels sa uh, standard american accent okay so marami na tayong na discuss no kung naalala niyo di ba nagsimula na tayo sa a group sa e group and then sa i group all right so diniskas na natin yung differences in sounds ng italian a american a long a short e long e short i so first part pa lang yun ngayon magpapatuloy tayo para sa hindi pa natin na-discuss ng mga vowel sounds. And, and, kung may natitirang oras po, syempre, pupunta naman tayo sa standard American consonants naman. Di ba? Marami nga na dun eh. Marami mga sound pairs dun na masasabi niyo, wow, very interesting. Sana talaga is, uh, yung aking uh, speech mechanisms, right? Remember the speech mechanisms, all right? Eh, mag-cooperate. Para when I say words in English, Okay? Ganun pamamaraan ko exactly ma-pronounce yung mga salita niya. Which is of course the correct way of saying it. Alright? So guys, nag- nagaganap po ang ating communicate being the best communicator that you are on our Facebook pages. Okay? Sa facebook.com forward slash the corporate enter trainer. Nandun din po ito sa facebook.com forward slash MSS Biz Solutions. At nasa YouTube din po tayo. Sa youtube.com forward slash mentor Myron Santana. Okay? So may mga viewers sa tayo, maraming salamat po sa inyong uh, pagbabalik para matuto naman this time about uh, correcting and enhancing your communication skills. Okay? So guys, please do us a big favor. All right? I hope it's not a big deal for you to share this around. Okay? So maraming uh, social media platforms or websites nyo pwede nyo pong i-share ito sa Facebook, sa LinkedIn, sa Twitter, sa Instagram, sa Pinterest, at kung saan-saan pa. If you have your personal websites, Pwede mo rin i-embed ito doon. Okay, just figure it out. Hindi na kita tuturuan. May Google naman. <laughs> okay, so let's get started with our lesson for today. Okay, are you guys ready? If you guys are ready, nasaan man kayo? Sabihin nyo, kahit hindi ko narinig ko nakikita. Ready, ready na ako. Mentor Myron. Okay, so here we go. 
All right. Now go ahead, guys. By the way, no, allow your, uh, your, 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 your folks to tag along para matutunan natin itong ating topic for today. Okay. Here you go. Let me uh, just double check. Okay. Perfect. All right. So let's uh, continue from where we uh, paused the last time. So ito yung huling topic natin, di ba? Yung short I. Yung short I, from the word itself, it's called short because when you produce the sound, you just have to utter it very short as well. So it, that's the name of the sound. Para hindi natin binibigkas yung mga salita katulad ng issue. All right? Dapat issue. Hindi Asan ang ticket mo? Ticket? <laughs> Tagalit sa ayin. No? Asan ang ticket mo? So it should be a ticket. Okay? There you go. So, tapos pinaractice natin yung mga sample words natin dito. Alright. Now the next sound. Diba guys, sabi ko sa inyo kung naaalala nyo, huwag nyo nang pahirapan ang buhay nyo. When we say uh, long sounds or rather long vowels, you just simply have to say the name of the letter. Like in this case, ano ba ang name ng letter? I. That's it. That's the end of the, uh, that's the sound itself, all right? Hindi na nga kailangan tong mga complicated na mga paano mo gagalawin ang bibig mo eh. Sabihin mo lang yung uh, letter eh, okay na eh. Na-produce mo na yung sound eh. But just to read out what it says here, so long I is produced by simply saying the name of the letter itself. And what is the name of the letter? Letter I. Very good, children. All right? Bigla ko naalala yung sa Sesame Street ng kabataan natin, di ba? Our letter for today is I, the letter I, something like that, okay? So this sound called long I is present in words such as eyes, okay? Hi, why? I, bow, okay? So let's practice the very easy uh, sample words here. So everybody, please read these out together with me, okay? So pie, spider, tiger, find. Wild, smile, lime, shine, hide, bite, hide, bike, time, mile, kind, <laughs> ride, nice, fire, pilot. So yung pong, uh, second syllable dyan, hindi po yan binibigkas na pilot. All right? Hindi po yan si lot lot din yun. Okay, it's pilot. And later on, I'm going to introduce you guys to that sound, the uh sound, okay? Giant, climb. Yung B po dyan, silent. Hindi mo po yan uh, bibigkasin na climb, all right? Huwag kang galit sa final B sound. Nine, idea, find, lively, like yours truly. I'm trying my best here. Write, reply, bright, supply, delight, tight, midnight, Identify. Pwede mo nga i-drop yung T or silent T. Pwede mo rin sabihin yun or click the T. Wala namang problema dun. Okay, preference na yan. Matter of preference. It's not even about being American or British. So, identify. Multiply. Occupy. Deny. Guide. Title. Di ba? Napakadali, di ba? Siguro ang kinaiban lang ito sa Pilipino na parang ay, parang malay, bahay. So, hindi matigas yung pagkakabigkas. Okay? That's, uh, that's how uh, different American pronunciation is. Very soft. Actually, kahit yung consonants nila eh. Alright? More often than not, hindi nagtatouch sa tip of uh, the palate yung uh, tip ng tang nila eh. Okay? So, ganun siya ka-soft. Alright? So, soft lang. So, bahay to, to bahay. Bahay. Right? <laughs> okay. Alright. Para pinarinig ko lang yung diferensya sa inyo guys. Huh? Okay. Alright. So, doon naman tayo sa O group. Then, dalawa lang naman yan. Tinatawag na circumflex O, tsaka yung long O. So, let's start with circumflex O. So, circumflex O, guys, just like how this guy here looks. So, ano to eh? Uh, sounds like the Filipino or Tagalog O. Okay? Yun nga lang. Like what I said earlier, wag mong tigasan, lambutan mo lang. So, kung ang Tagalog O ay eh, uh, makipot, pot, O, pot. Ito naman, makipot. Makipot. <laughs> okay? So, the sound is O. All right? Hindi Tagalog na oh, it's all. So if you apply that sound to the following words, port, short, court. All right? So ganyan mismo itsura ng, ano, ng ulo mo. Although, uh, yung, yung buka ng bibig dito parang more of uh, Italian A. Eh. So ganito, ha? oblongated, the vertical. There. Port, short, court. Okay? So try natin sa mga sample words natin dito. Okay, ready? Begin. Abort. Report, sort, more, 
auditorium, off, ornament, origin, ordinary. So guys, narinig nyo ba yun yung third syllable? Ne, hindi siya na. Hindi siya, saka nga na ordinary bus. Hindi ganun. Dapat, saka nga tayo na ordinary bus. Uy, <laughs> so siya, di ba? Ordinary bus. Alright, ganun dapat ha. Ordinary, not ordinary. Alright? So, ordeal. Flaw. Awe. No, soft, torch, cyborg, born, boy, form, horn, adorn, gory, moth. Ayan, mamaya, tuturuan ko kayo ng ano kung paano ba bigkasin yung sound na gano'n. Hindi siya moth, kasi letter T lang yun. The spelling naman is very clear, TH, so tuturuan ko kayo ng TH sounds later on. Pag may oras tayo, kasi hanggang as 4 lang tayo, okay? Wrong, torso, throng. Thorn, sworn, strong, pork, cork, fork, orb. Ayan. Now you know, circleflex O. O. Alright? So, patuloy tayo. Ngayon, next would be the long O. Diba? Dapat alam nyo na yan. Kapag sinabing long vowel, just say the name of the letter. That's already the sound itself. So, what is the name of the letter? O. That's it. See? It's present in words like O. Roll. Bone. So, pag pinakinggan mo siya, kung pagpakinggan mo siya, may subtle W sa dulo. Woo. Oh. There you go. So, ang itsura ng bibig mo, from the circumflex, oh, oh, and then, dahan-dahang sasara. Pero open pa rin kasi kailangan lumabas ang hangin. Eh. Oh. Oh. O hindi, dahan-dahang sasara, dahan-dahang liliit yung, yung buka ng bibig mo. Oh. There. Okay? So, the sound is the name of the letter itself. Just like how this little boy here looks. Okay? So, ito ha. Alone, broke, smoke, quote. Ayan. Alright? Ito ha, itong salitang ito. Ito, tsaka yung may shon sa dulo. Okay, guys, hindi po natin yung binibigkas na quote. Hindi po yan kasing tunog ng ito. Although ito, tawag ng Pilipino dito, quote. Hindi naman ito quote. Jacket tawag nila dito. Alright? Okay, so Filipino wisdom yon. Anyways, <clears throat> that's a different uh, topic altogether. So, ang bigkas po dito ay quote. So, kung hihimayin mo yung, yung syllables, parang may dalawang syllables siyang nagtutunog. Ku, and then quote, where the long O is. So, quote. Bigkasin mo nang mabilis, quote, hindi quote. Right? Bigyan mo ako ng quotation. Not quotation, kundi quotation. Quotation. Bigkasin mo nang mabilis, quotation. Alright? Ganun ha? Quote. Our quote for today is, tsaka quotation. There. Next, wrote. Boat, throat, hole, mole, roll, stroll, coal, goal, bold, cold, soul, shoulder, boast, host, coach, load, road, roam, approach, gross. O, oh, ito pa. Diba? Ito pa ang isang uh, commonly mispronounced word ng mga Pinoy. Ang bigkas natin dito, gross. Hindi po siya circumflex O. It's a long O. So instead of pronouncing as gross, ah sorry, gross, dapat siya ay gross. Alright? So pareho yan, yung nakakabire, tsaka yung adjective para sa mga bilang o numero usually. Yung gross amount, ganyan. So pareho lang yan ang nakakabire na, hey, it's so gross. There, okay? Both, growth, show, grow, snow, throw, dough, toe, below, Albino. Okay, one second, please. Uh, disco tomorrow. All right, so it's tomorrow, not tomorrow, <laughs> but tomorrow. So yung second syllable, Italian Asia, tomorrow. Right? Di ba yung sa kanta? Tomorrow, tomorrow, ah, la 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 la. Di ko na yung lyrics, okay? Di ba? It's tomorrow. Parang ang sagwa naman na tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> okay, it's tomorrow. All right. So there you go. Ito na. Nandun na tayo sa second to the last pair ng uh, sound group. Yung pinatawag natin the, the short U. Okay? So short U po ay uh, ganito yan, ha? Ito, guys. Para siyang uh, U, pero paikliin mo ng mga one second or less. All right? Basta maikli. Huwag mo na isipin yung uh, one second or less. So, maikli. So, it's, the sound is, oh, oh. So, makikita mo yung buka ng bibig mo, maikli lang. Alam mo yung uh, final position ng buka ng bibig mo sa long O? 
So yun ay itsura naman noong short you. So di ba? Oh. Ito naman short you. See? Oh. Okay? So it's produced by forming your lips as if you're about to whistle or just pucker them. Di ba? Ganun yung pagpucker ng ating lips. Or itsura ng sisipol. There. It's also called the monkey sound because of the way it sounds. Oh. Alright? Try mo. Oh. Bakit monkey sound? So, remember guys, it must be uh, produced very short. Otherwise, it would sound differently. Alright? So, oh! So, i-apply natin yung sound na yan sa mga sumusunod na salita. Okay. So, itong mga salita ito makikita mo, no? may mga dalawang vowel sa gitna eh, or vowel letters to be precise. Okay? Dalawang O, may O-U, di ba? So, ang common mistake ng Filipino is bibig kasi natin yan, hey, look! Tuk, shuk, but it's a different sound. It's long u, which is our next uh, featured uh, sound. Okay, so dahil nga short yu siya. Oh, ganon lang. Oh, so ilipat natin yung sound dayon sa mga salitang ito, ah. So look, took, shuk, should, would, could, book, cook, brook, crook, criminal, di ba? Hook, look, took, shuk. Nook, good, wood, stood, hood, foot, bush, cookie, beautiful. So ang sound ng uh, short yun dito hindi yung bu, because obviously that's the next letter we're gonna feature. It's the last syllable, full. Yun, nandun ang short yun. Beautiful, there. Cushion, so it's not cushion, it's not cushion, it's cushion. Short yun, oh, cushion. Utensil, ay, ito, commonly mispronounced nito ng Pilipino. Di ba, bigkas natin dito, utensil, right? Pag-uusapan natin yung uh, syllable stress, pero kasi kung mapakikinggan mo yun, alam mo yung stress, di ba? Ang Pilipino, nilalagay kasi natin yung stress sa first syllable, kaya nagiging utensil. Dapat, ang stress ay nasa second syllable, utensil. So, picture this, utensil, okay? Utensil, ganun ha? And then, of course, the first syllable must have short u, so utensil. Next, Woof, book, mushy, rookie, nook, rookie, crooked. Alrighty. So, ayan. Tapos yung uh, last sound, so second to the last pair natin ay itong long U. So, ito, dalawang uh, approach dyan. Pwede mo bigasin yung sound na to as U kasi may mga salita may ganong sound mismo, di ba? U. Oh, well, after all. Long vowels, okay, the sound of the long vowels is the name of the letter itself. So, U, or pwede mo pahabain yung uh, short U, gawin mong U. So, U or U is the sound of uh, long U, okay? So, it's uh, present in words like U, who, to. So, it's surang sisipol din siya kung mapapansin niyo yung bibig niyo, di ba? So, it's produced the same way as short U, although the sound is prolonged, all right? So, hindi po yan prolong. It's prolonged. Ganun po ang bigkas ng salitang yan. So, kung naalala nyo yung mga diniskas natin, yung, yung first syllable, long O, pro. And then, yung uh, second syllable, dalawa yan eh. Pwede mong bigkasin ng may circumflex o prolonged. Pwede mo rin yung bigkasin ng may Italian A. Prolonged. Alright? Okay, so bigkasin natin itong mga salitang ito. Cube, moon, new, cool, boot. Noon, new, clue, rule, rude, pool, food, suit, mute, tune. Ine-exaggerate lang natin guys para makita nyo yung galaw ng mga bibig. Pero kapag ikaw ay sanay na sanay na as if parang native speaker ka na, gamay na gamay na ng sistema mo, hindi mo na kailangan i-exaggerate yung galaw ng mga bibig eh. Alright? But because I'm teaching, I have to show you how of course our mouth uh, you know, opens, stretches sideways. Uh, goes down, etc. Okay? So, nasa na tayo? No? Wala na tayo. Tune. Use. So, papapansin nyo, yung S, guys. Okay? Ginawa kong Z. Although it's spelled with an S. May explanation dyan. Okay. Hintayin nyo yung topic na yun. Okay? Uniform. Amuse. Huge. Crew. Do. To. Fool. Proof. Soon. Shoot. Boot. Through. True. Youth, music, uh, letter Z, you know, hindi yung music, it's music with a Z. You, all right, Tuesday, fruits, issue. Oh, uh, nalala niyo yung short I's first syllable, issue. 
na ano mag issue mo sa akin <laughs> it should be issue juice lose move prove okay thumbs di ba alam niyo ba na nakalabing tatlong sound na tayo we're now down to the final two sounds di ba ay hindi hindi, hindi, hindi pa pala uh, third to the last pair pala ito nasa may apat na sounds pa tayo okay but uh, it's going to be very easy all right so ito na yung second to the last pair yung schwa tsaka yung slur yung schwa guys teka bakit meron akong image dito na may sumuntok sa 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 tiyan sa isang tao kasi guys alam niyo yun ah, sige basahin natin yung definition na is a neutral vowel sound so ibig sabihin wala masyadong movement all right wag mo daw stretch yung lips sideways mo wag mo lakian yung buka ng bibig kasi mag-iiba siya okay is produced with the mouth slightly open of course this is still a vowel so kailangan mo basta ng hangin Sounds like a grunt when somebody punches you in the stomach, di ba? So, uh, <laughs> uh, magpasuntok ka sa kakilala mo, and then an- ano kaya yung tunog? Yun yung shwa, all right? So, it is uh, present in words like, once again, ah, rating ko yung sound, ah, 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 there. So, it is in words like money. So, it's not money, right? It's very quick. Ah, money. Customer, not customer. It's Customer. Grunt. Alright. Okay. So, basahin natin yung may mga shwa words. Ha? Ah. Ugly. Bug. Dug. Jug. Some. Drum. Truck. Cup. Plum. Up. Under. Bum. Hug. Hub. Mud. Cuff. Bun. Gun. Run. Sun. Bus. Fuss. But, cut, nut, rough, para magrarap dito. Plus, sun, jump, stuck, lump, fun, hum, luck, stun, bus, cuff, smudge, judge, trust, just, slump. Break it down, y'all. <laughs> All right? So, schwa po yun, ha? Schwa. <clears throat> okay? And then, third to the last vowel sound, I am slur. All right? So, tinan nyo itong mga supporting photo. Oh, my God. Hello. <laughs> All right. You know the e way of talking that divine pa usin on, all right? So it's uh the sound is er. That's it. So it is in words like er, brother, so it's not brother, not father, but it should be father, er. I like it when you do it right there, right there. <laughs> all right? So yung po yung sound, eh? So uh i-apply natin ito sa mga sumusunod na salita. Bird word okay heard heard preferred third occurred so it's not occur i remember when i was in high school ako ganun bigkas ko diyan occur <laughs> hindi pala occur yun it's occur they are slur sound pala yun dirt blurt shirt skirt ah sorry squirt skirt concert o di ba yung first syllable italian a yon con cert uh, desert, it has a Z sound, and then dessert, yung pagkain, alert, butter, better, hammer, o di ba? Nalala nyo, American A, dapat ipatunog mo yung American A. E, A, E, so hammer, shutter, spider, mother, Easter, earlier, flower, flower. okay, power, older, Younger, slower, faster, longer, shorter, bigger, taller, her, fur, girl, er. Okay, all right. Nasa last uh, group na po tayo or pair, at tawagin na lang po natin silang diphthongs. Okay, ano niya ang tawag sa kanila? Diphthong. So, what is a diphthong? Basahin ko na lang ito. Sabi dito, a diphthong is two vowel sounds joined in one syllable to form one speech sound. Actually, ito, if you feature natin dalawa, hindi lang sila ang diphthongs. Okay? Matter of fact, yung, yung American A, yung E, is a diphthong. Kasi yung short E, tsaka yung slight Italian A sound, a minerge mo using a subtle Y sound. So, it, by definition, diba, two vowel sounds joined in one syllable to form one speech sound. So, yung American A itself is a diphthong too, right? Pero itong mga diphthong na pag-uusapan natin ay dalawa lang, yung oy, tsaka yung aw, alright? So, 
itong diphthong OA is produced by producing circumflex O. So kung naalala nyo guys, i-produce natin yung circumflex O. One, two, three, go. O. Alright? So parang Tagalog O, di ba? Then smoothly gliding it to short I. So O, tsaka I. O, I. Pabilisin mo. Alright? Oy, there you go. So that's the sound. Circumflex O and short I combination. So boy, toy, noisy with the S becoming a Z. All right? Tsaka yung diphthong ow. Yung diphthong ow, kombinasyon siya ng American A. Ano yung American A? Air. Air. Tapos smoothly gliding it to short U. Ano yung U? Uh. So air. Uh. Air. Uh. Bilisan mo. Air. There you go. All right? So, pag ikaw ay American, all right, uh, imbis na get, get, ow, dapat ang bigkas ay get, get, ow. <laughs> all right? Kasi diphthong ow, not ow. Because if it's ow, then yung short yung kinumbine siya sa with Italian A, hindi American A. American A to eh. So, it should be ow. All right? Not ow. Okay? So, practice natin, ha? Practice words. Start muna tayo sa diphthong oy. Oil, point, soil, join, boil, coil, coin, broil, toil, boy, enjoy, toy, boy, toy, like yours, <laughs> okay, joke lang, royal, so royal pala yun, di ba? Wag mo masyadong i-distinct yung dalawang syllable na royal, true or range, alright? Not royal, it's royal, my royalty, yun, hindi royalty, okay? Cowboy. Destroy, annoy, newsboy, joyful, full, short you, huh? Spoil, choice, rejoice, joy, soy sauce, loyal. See, hindi loyal, loyal, right? Royal, loyal, joint, voice, hoist, moist, noise, poison, oink, oyster, trapezoid, avoid, all right? So, yan ang... Diphthong oi. And last but not least, yung diphthong ow. All right? House, proud, mouse, arouse, town, frown, down, compound. Kapag siya ay verb, kapag noun naman ang pinag-uusapan, it's compound. All right? Around, this discount. <laughs> Pwede rin naman discount, okay? Amount, towel. Sundit na tawel. Hindi tawel, it's towel, all right? Power, shower, tower, hour, sour, floor. Pwede siyang floor, but because ang um, binibikas natin dito, a diphthong ow should be flower. para bulaklak din, okay? Announce, bounce, sound, count, pound, sound, ground, foul, growl, cloud, now, allow. Ow. Get, get, ow. Alright? So, diphthong, ow. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> ayan mga kaibigan. Tapos na tayo sa mga napitirang vowel sounds. O, biruin mo yun, labin lima na different vowel sounds ang kailangan mong i-produce. At kailangan, ibigkasin mo sila sa mga salitang dapat nandoon sila. So, once again, ha, pasadahan natin, ha. A group. American A. A. Long A. A. Okay? Italian A, ah, all right? E group, short E, A. Eh. Long E, E. Okay? I group, short I, I. Eh. Long I, I. Okay? Short U, ah, sorry, U group. Okay, short U, ooh. Long U, ooh, or U. Okay? And then, uh, schwa, ah. Slur, er. Diphthong oi, oi. Diphthong ow. Ow. All right? So, there you go, guys. So, ngayon, mas uh, versatile na tayo kasi mas familiar na yung speech mechanisms natin sa, ano, eh, sa 15 vowels eh, instead of just being limited to 5 kasi hindi tayo nagtatagalog, tayo ay nag -iingles. Okay? So, sa actual na training, ladies and gentlemen, may mga practice sentences tayo but because of the, the remaining time we have, dapat sa araw na ito, eh, ma-introduce ko kayo kung hindi man sa lahat, eh, partially doon sa mga Standard American consonants, okay? But uh, before we continue, syempre, acknowledge muna natin, tinan natin, baka may mga nag-comment, nagtatanong, nagka-clarify, or nagko-comment. So, wala naman so far. 
The time is 3.34 p.m. You guys are tuning in or watching Communicate, the best or being the best communicator that you are. Nagagana po ito sa ating facebook.com forward slash Solutions, facebook.com forward slash The Corporate Enter Trainer at sa YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Mentor Myron Santana. Kung nagugustuhan niyo po ang ating topic patungkol sa correcting and improving your English language proficiency, pakishare po lang po sa lahat ng inyong mga channels. All right? So magbabalik po tayo. Pagbalik natin, pag-uusapan na natin ang standard American consonants. So wag po kayong alis. Magpapakita lang po tayo ng isang magandang bagay na ma-appreciate niyo naman. Okay? So I'll be right back. Please stay right where you are. Here we go. All right, so nagbabalik po tayo guys sa ating communicate, being the best communicator that you are, happening on Facebook and on YouTube. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Mentor Myron Santana CFLDP. Okay, so bago tayo magpatuloy, meron ako nakikita mga comments dito. Basahin muna natin. All right, hold on one second. So ipakita natin ito, okay? From Amazing Terry, right? Good afternoon, Mentor. From Blue Jeff. TV. Ito talaga yung isa sa mga inaabangan ko, mentor. Natututuwa ko sa mga grammar. All right? American A yun, ha? Grammar. Not grammar, but grammar. Right? Social. Ang sarap pakinggan ng social, eh, no? All right? So, uh, i-apply mo yan, okay? Hanap ka ng mga, alam mo sa English. Eh, eh tayo, hindi naman tayo, ano, eh. Hindi naman tayo native speaker, eh. Okay? Baga na-develop lang din natin ito, eh. Uh, So, pag nag english tayo, uh, kung gusto natin mag-improve ang communication natin, maghahanap lang tayo ng oportunidad kung saan nakakapag-invest tayo, di ba? Kung gusto mo, maghanap ka ng kano o ng, Brit- ng Briton, di ba? Kausapin mo, hey, hey Joe, I'm Myron, I'm, uh, well, I don't know you, you don't know me, but can we speak? Because I would just like to practice my English. <laughs> All right, ganun. Diba? Lumapit sa mga stangherong uh, foreigner para lang makapag-English kasama nila, diba? Of course, in-exaggerate natin, baka naman takbuhan ka ng stangherong yun, eh. <laughs> Alright? Um, sinasabi ko lang, sanayin mo kasi kapag, diba, practice makes perfect. But uh, nobody's perfect, so why practice, right? <laughs> so, pag yan, ang, ang uh, speech mechanisms mo, diba, parang ano yan, eh, parang, uh, kumbaga sa... Yung, yung koordinasyon ng, ng utak mo, ng isipan mo, pati yung mga speech mechanisms na yan, eh, darating din sa punto, pag pinaprepare, perfect, perfect mo, eh, para ka na rin uh, kano kung magsalita. 
hindi ba? So napaka-importante talaga ng, uh, ng practice. Okay, constant, consistent practice. Okay, so pagkakataon na para malaman natin kung paano natin i-improve, i-co-correct ang ating consonant production. Okay, so magpapatuloy tayo sa ating uh, topic. So there you go. Skip natin itong mga practice sentences natin dito ha. Yan, yeah, pati yung mga yan. Oh guys, ha, yung mga yan, detalyeng yan, makikita at mararasan at matututo nyo yan kapag uh, hinire nyo po ang inyong lingkod sa inyong mga internal training program requests. Okay? Yan, okay. So, consonant sounds naman tayo. So, <clears throat> whew, okay. <laughs> teka na. Inom nga ako, teka. Alright, mamaya na lang. Okay. So, what is a consonant sound? A consonant is a speech sound that is articulated with complete or partial closure of the vocal tract. Different consonants are produced with the aid of speech mechanisms like the tongue, teeth, and lips. Yun pala. Uh, so, kinaiba niya sa vowel. Ang vowel kasi, para magtumunog na vowel, kailangan bahagya sa malaking nakabuka ang ating bibig. Pero ito, partial to complete closure of the vocal tract. Okay? Kasi mga, kubaga, mga solid na sounds kasi ito eh. And, uh, Para magtunog ng tama, yung mga consonant sounds, merong involvement yung ating uh, dila, yung ating ngipin, at yung ating mga labi. Okay? So, <clears throat> sa Tagalog, di ba, ang uh, mga consonants ng natin ay baka da gahalaman na ng para sa tawaya. So, kung mga binibikas nating English ay merong mga ganong letra o tunog, walang problema. Ngunit, subalit na tapwat, nahihirapan ang Pilipino doon sa mga foreign consonants na wala tayo sa Tagalog alphabet. Ano yung mga yun? Yung B, C, D, F. There you go. Dahil wala tayong F, kapag uh, nagpo-pronounce tayo ng mga salitang may F, ang tunog lagi, lagi letter P. Okay? So, i-correct natin yan. Ano pa? F, G, H, I, J, X, T, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, V. Diba? Wala rin tayong letter V. Kaya pag bumibigkas tayo ng mga salita may letter V as in victory, ang bigkas natin parang B as in baboy. Hindi natin ma-enunciate yung ating mga F and V. Okay? Ano pa ba ba wala tayo nga? Yung mga TH sounds. So, okay, wag na natin patagalin ito. <clears throat> Alam ko, excited na kayo, no? So, yung mga American, or rather standard American consonants are voice TH. <clears throat> Unvoiced or voiceless TH. Siyempre, yung pagbikas ng T, may T rin tayo, pero kasi pag nagbikas na ng T, malambot lang. T, T, ganoon din ang D. D, D, P, 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 K, F. The difference between B and V, baboy at vavoy. <laughs> okay, of course, yung R sa Pilipino kasi para tayo yung Espanyol. Niro-roll natin yung R natin. R, recipe. Maramot there. Pero yung uh, R ng uh, standard American, malambot lang. They don't roll it. Okay? S, may mga rules guys. Kung kailan nagiging S, kailan nagiging Z, pag-uusapan natin yan. At kailan nagiging SH, at kailan nagiging J. Excited na ba kayo? Are you sure? Kung kayo excited, then simulan na natin. Right, let's start with the TH sounds. Okay. Yung una natin pag-aralan yung voice TH. Kaya siya tinawag na voiced. Kasi may vibration na involved. Okay? Kasi sabing vibration, nararamdaman mo yun, tsaka naririnig. May nanginginig sa iyong mga labi. Okay? So, yun yung parang be like or buzz sound. So, yung sound na, na, na po ito, eh, ito po yung maririnig nyo sa mga salitang them. Smooth. Hindi siya smooth. Smooth. Tsaka brother. So, paano ba gawin yung uh, sound na voice TH or the? So, ito ang instruction. To produce this sound, the tip of the tongue. O gawin natin ang paunti -unti, The tip of the tongue, show the tip of your tongue, is made to vibrate between the teeth before being pulled back in. So, hihilain mo siya pabalik sa loob or the teeth being separated to produce the next vowel. Okay? So, ganito yan. See? Tip of the tongue, sa gitna ng iyong mga ngipin, and then make it vibrate, produce the B-like sound. Oh, pinapakita ko ah. Kumandiri man kayo, pasensya na. Alright? O, see ya. Para sa tunog ng cellphone na maingi na nagbabibrate eh. Ganun siya, voice TH. 
Alright? So, okay, practice natin, ha? <clears throat> okay, so dapat merong Okay. So, practice words. Smoother. Thou. Either. Mentor, mayroong either or either. Pareho lang pong tama yan. Pero sabi nila, pag either, American. Pag either, British. Pero pareho lang tama yan. Preference lang talaga. Northern. Gather. Thy. Read. There. Then. Neither. These. Weather. Thine. Heather. This. The. Okay. Uh, bather. Bather. Okay, I'll get back to you when it comes to this one. Medyo na confused tayo sa tanya. Okay, brother, those. Okay, to hindi to southern. All right, walang ganito ng salita. Although it comes from the base word south, and it's not even produced with a voice th. It's a voiceless th. South. Pero ito ng binirive na ito, it's produced with a voice th. So it's not south. It's a shwa a southern themselves leather. Mother, lather, yun na mumuo sa book natin pag nagsashampo tayo, di ba? Or sa katawan, pag nagsasabon. They, clothe, rhythm, them, wither, feather, although, breathe. Ayan, ha? So, anong sound ulit ito? Voice TH. Alright. So, ngayon, <clears throat> kailangan ma-differentiate kasi natin yung ano eh. Yung confusion nating mga Pinoy sa words with B, as in D as in Delta, tsaka yung words with the voice TH or the Z sound. Okay? So, sundan nyo, ha? Huh? Okay, ready? There, there. Then, then. So, maganda talaga uh, mag-practice ng mga minimal pairs na ito, eh. Kasi kung ang vowel doon sa gitna o sa loob, ang pag-uusapan, magkapareho lang sila, eh. Pero nagkakatalo sila kung letter D ba or voice TH. Okay? Continue. Breathe. Breed, though, though, the, the, thy, die, those, those, they, they, than, dan, bathe, bade, writhe, ride, loathe, load, other, other, father, fodder, lather, ladder, they've, they've. Alright? Now you know. Okay, ang saya-saya talagang magturo nito nga. <laughs> Nakakapagod. Alright, to continue. So kung may vibration na nagaganap sa voice TH, sa voiceless or unvoiced TH, kaya nga unvoiced or voiceless eh, walang vibration. So ibig sabihin, pero ganun din siya, ganun din ang mechanics. Yung dulo ng dila mo, ilalagay mo sa pagitan ng mga ngipin mo, pero wag mo i-vibrate. Wala dapat be like sound. Ipupush mo lang yung air. Dito parang ang sasapian ni Daffy Duck. Alright? So, see? So, yung tip of the tongue, nasa, git, nasa gitna ng bibi, ah, ng, uh, mga ngipin, tapos tumutulak lang tayo ng hangin palabas. Importante yung pagtulok ng hangin palabas, guys, kasi hindi siya magtutulog ng voiceless TH. So, okay? Alright, para marinig nyo. There you go. So, bigkasin natin. Thick theme Three, right? To produce this sound, the tip of the tongue is placed between the teeth while pushing air out. All right? <clears throat> okay. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, para kang sinapian ni, ano, eh, ni Daffy Duck. Alam mo, isa pang test kung talaga nagagawa mo ito ng tama. So, awakan mo sa, sa kabilang end yung tissue. Tissue, okay? Tapos, hayaan mo lang na lumaylay yung kabilang dulo. Tapos, okay. I-produce mo yung TH sound. Pag lumilipad-lipad yung kabilang dulo, you're doing it correctly kasi may hangin lumalabas. Pero pag wala, you're not doing it correctly. Alright? So, mag-practice tayo ng mga unvoiced or voiceless TH sounds. Okay, so ready? Sundan nyo ko. Or sabayan nyo ko. Pwede rin. Thief. Thanks. Thing. Thump. Thimble. Thermometer. Thursday. Thirst. Thicken. Thirsty. Thoughtful. Thieves. Sabi mo, para kang sinapian ni Daffy Duck, di ba? <laughs> Thieves. Thatch. Thorn. Thanksgiving. Thistle. Thermostat. Thin. Thud. Thinking. Thankful. Thoughtless. Thinker. Theme. Thought. Thermos. Thunder. Theater. Alright, ngayon alam nyo na ang tamang pagbikas ng teatro sa Ingles o sinihan. It's not 
Cheter? <laughs> Sino nagpauso kaya nung Cheter, no? O kaya, ano ba bang uh, narinig dating maling bigkas ng Pilipino? Cheter, tsaka... Uh, yun lang, eh. Cheter. So, it's not Cheter. It's Theater. So, tatlong distinct syllables yun. Fear. Fear. So, mabilis yun. Okay? So, fear. And then, thaw. Okay? So, i-differentiate natin, i-contrast natin ito sa normal o regular na T-sound. Okay? Pero, kapag standard American, wag niyong patigasin yung T. Kailangan soft T lang. Okay? So, unvoiced TH versus T-sound. Ready? Bath, bat. Both, boat. Three, tree. So, di ba? Parang ano yan eh. Uh, obvious, obvious ka agad yan eh. Uh, anong sabi mo? Tree. Tree as in puno tree as in number. Right? Uh, three. Right? So, merong iba na mamaiksi ang dila, medyo hirap talaga sila sa mga TH sounds. Kasi, sabi ko sa inyo, kailangan nasa gitna ng ipin yung dulo ng dila. Eh, maiksi nga dila nila, hindi nila mailagay sa, <laughs> dila mailagay sa pagitan. Nasa likod lang palagi. Kaya hindi nila maproduce ng mga sound bato. Okay? Path, pat. Think, tink. Think, tink. Through, true. Thin, tin. Thorn, torn. Thrust, trust. Wrath, rat. Thick, tick. Third, turd. Pag-fit turd dito. Thought, taught. Broth, brought. Death, debt. There you go. All right? So, uh, syempre, may mga practice tongue twisters tayo sa actual na training. Pero syempre... Hindi na natin i-discuss yan. Okay, and I, I believe this is gonna be the last sound. Or sige, damay pa tayo ng isa bago tayo mag-wrap up sa araw na ito, okay? So, the T sound, ang diferensya ng standard American T sa Tagalog T, tayo kasi masyado tayong galit na galit sa T. Solid na solid talaga yung tunog. Ito soft lang, okay? Ano ibig kong sabihin? So, may dalawang or rather apat na rules of producing T in words. Depende po yan sa salita. So, the T sound is produced depending on where, saan it is positioned in a word. Saan siya nakalagay on, sa spelling ng word and what sound it proceeds or follows. Anong sound daw ang kanyang sinusundan or uh, kasunod niya. Okay? So, yung apat na rules na yan ay the strong or clear T, the flat T, the silent T, the held T. Alright? So, yan. Mukha ito na ang last topic kasi apat pala ito. Okay? So, i-differentiate natin yung apat na yan. Alright. The strong or clear T. Kapag daw ang T ay nasa sal- simula ng salita, so produce the strong or clear T. Kasi kailangan marinig talaga yung T kasi nasa simula nga eh. So, t- t- you have to click it. Okay? Table, take, tomorrow, teach, ten, turn, tall, test, talk, Today, so it's not today, all right? It's t, t, shua yon, shua hindi tu. It's t, today, all right? Trip, triple. Ngayon, pwede rin siyang strong or clear t kapag daw with a stress t. Like, there, st, ch, tr, t, lt, and some words that end in nt. So paano yan? So best. So kailangan talaga, iparinig mo yung uh, letter t kasi hindi naman yan silent t. May letter T talaga sa dulo eh. So, i-click mo. Right? Para marinig ng kausap mo. So, best. Chest. Patrol. It's not patrol. Long O yan, guys. It's O. Patrol. Control. Pat. O parang yung organization kong minamahal. So, Philippine Advocates for Consultants and Trainers. Pat. Right? Connect. Attract. See? Pinaparinig ko sa inyo yung T. Okay, content, <clears throat> dependent. Tapos, strong or clarity din kapag yung salita ay, uh, eto ha, kasi magkaiba yung present tense sa past tense. Okay, so kailangan mong iparinig na yung salitang ginagamit mo ay yung past tense form niya. So yung mga D and ED na matatagpuan sa past tense version ng mga salita, kailangan iparinig mo yun at ang tunog nila ay strong or clarity. If it proceeds unvoiced or hindi nagbabibrate na consonants like F, K, P, S, Ch, Sh, or uh, the, or the sounds of them. Okay? So, ito, ha? Mm. Mommy, I coughed. 
Iparinig mo yun kasi nangyari na sa nakaraan. I coughed. I clicked. I dropped. I kissed. I switched. I picked. They hoped. They raced. Okay? Clear? <laughs> Alright? So, dyan sa mga sitwasyon na yan, nyo uh, gagamitin yung strong or clear T. Okay? Ano naman yung the flap T or yung T nagiging B? Hindi siya literal na talagang D, ha? Kasi pangit pakinggan. Pag, pag binikas nyo ng literal na D, para lang siyang D effect. Pag pinakinggan mo dahil sobrang soft ng T, parang letter D. Okay? So, ito yung kondisyon. If the T or two T's are in the middle of the word. Ah. So once again, kapag nasa gitna ng spelling ng salita ang T or dalawang T's, kailangan flap T or yung parang tunog letter D. So hindi water, unless you're British, but water, right? Kung hindi water. See? Daughter. Sa mga ito, i-visualize nyo. Para makuha nyo yung flap T or yung D-like letter T. Okay? Kung papansinin nyo yung movement, yung behavior ng tang nyo sa loob. Daughter. Yung tip ng tang nyo, hindi yan nagtatouch sa roof or palat ng bibig nyo. Alright? Parang humihiwalay siya. Okay? So, you have to feel it. So, water. Daughter. Bara. Kara. Lot of. Gotta. Later. Meeting. Better. Water. Bottle. Heater. Little. Letter, getter, data, data, parang lang po tama yan. Computer, patty, reader, otter, there you go. Okay? So, pero wala namang masama. Kung gusto nyo, gusto nyo banggitin sila ng water, daughter, kasi at the end of the day, naiintindihan na unawaan ka ba, then okay na yan. Pero yung sa standard talaga, dapat ganyan. If the, T or the, the two T's are in the middle of the word, kailangan yung flap T or the T becomes like B. Okay? Clear? Okay. <clears throat> Pang-apat na, or rather, pangatlong T, yung the silent T. So, for NT combinations in the middle of a word, there are some exceptions though. Okay? So, pwede mong gawing uh, silent <clears throat> or i-drop mo yung letter T. Ang marinig lang yung N. Okay? So, ganito. Interview. Interstate. International. Wanted. See? Wanted. Imbis na wanted. Okay? Wanted. Pwede pala yun. The know, all right, or, or don't know, there. Printer, enter, all right, enter. I think this is an exception. Enter, enter the dragon, enter the dragon, okay? I, I believe this is one of the exceptions, guys, okay? 20, advantage, percentage, all right? So if the T is at the end of a word, silent din po yun. Try nyo rin na... Kumbaga, mararamdaman niyo pa rin yung letter T, maririnig pa rin siya ng bahagya, pero hindi siya strong or very uh, obvious na letter T. So, ganito yun. Put. See? Hindi siya put. Put. Okay, hindi na ito maganda pakinggan yun. Put. Hindi ganun. Put. What. Lot. Set. Hot. Sit. Shot. Brought. Quite. That. Or the. Right. Not, it, mat, fat, rat, pat, foot, want, sat, fit, bat, pot. Oh, a stick, di ba? And last but not least, yung the healthy. From the word itself, healthy, di ba? When, when you uh, hold something or someone, pinipigilan mo. So, words ending in tain, tin, and some TN combinations, okay, gawin mo yung healthy. So, gato yan eh. Ang tawag ko dito, parang tunog ngongo. Okay? Alright, for, for lack of a for better term, if you get what I mean, right? Parang siyang tunog ganun eh. Kasi, mm, 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 mm. Ganun siya. Mm, mm. So, in, instead of mountain, you pronounce it as mountain. 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 Mm, mm, mm. Right? O, gahin niyo yung sound na. Mm, 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 mm. So, yung tip of tongue nyo, make it uh, stick sa roof ng mouth nyo, tapos mm, mm, mag-grunt ka. Okay? So, yun yun. See? Mountain. Curtain. Written. Forgotten. Important. Sentence. Certain. Carton. Cotton. Satin. Mittens. Martin. Nyevera. Right? 
Martin, 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 gotten, kitten. So some words like latent don't end in tain, tin, or tien. So ano yun? Um, pwede. Latent. Okay? So exceptions ayan, attain. Hindi mo sinasabing atin. <laughs> exceptions too, guys. All right? Yung mga exceptions tayo. Sometimes gamitin nyo rin yung common sense, di ba? It's not atin. It's attain. It's not atin. It's obtain. It's not bitten. <laughs> it's detain. It's not pertain. It's pertain. All right? So, tandaan niya po muna. Woo! Napagod ako dun ah. Okay. So, uh, ayun. So, see, di ba? Nagiging tunog social na tayo, di ba? Namamaster na natin yung standard American vowels and consonants. Although, we're not done with all of the consonants yet. May mga natitira pa sa kaya sa next episode natin, ikakover natin yan. Okay? So, bago tayo magpaalam, guys, basahin muna natin yung mga comments na nandito. Uh, huh. So, yeah, from uh, Black Mamba. Nice topic, mentor. Aabangan ko ito palagi. Ayan, oh, di ba? O, yung mga kaibigan kong YouTubers, kung gusto nyo uh, sometimes Tagalog, sometimes Taglish, gusto nyo pure English, makakatulong to. Lalo na kung gusto natin mag-reach sa international, uh, international, right? <laughs> okay? International audiences, okay? So, God bless you, mentor, for sharing. Yan, prolong. <laughs> Prolong. Ayan, o, di ba? Pinag-aaralan niya. Thanks, mentor. More webinar like this, mentor. Thanks for sharing. Thank, uh, thanks for this, mentor. Very helpful po to sa akin. Okay. Very helpful, mentor. May problema talaga ako sa ganyan. <laughs> Salamat sa pag-share. Ang, ang very smart mo po. Okay. Magandang lalaki po ako sa inyong lahat. Kaling niyo po. Pa-shower. <laughs> Pa-shower. Okay. Ito nga ating kaibigan si Maidon. Gumogda ka mukha ni ano eh. Ano ba pangalan nung uh, 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 boyfriend ni uh, Miss Carla Abellana? Alam mo, utak ko na. Sana natin yung picture niya doon. Kahawid niya doon. Oh. Pogi. Okay. Next, si Miss Aiza Amoral. Sabi niya, thank you for sharing. Parang gusto ko everyday manood para ma-improve grammar ko. Or grammar. <laughs> Di ba may American eh? Social. Okay. Next, si Nick Knock YouTube channel. Sama nagtatanong po, YouTube po, po ba o YouTube? Pareho lang pong tama yan. Pero usually, ang YouTube ay more of American. Yung YouTube, more of Australian, uh, Kiwi, or New Zealand, or British. Pero pareho lang pong tama yan. Huwag niyo po yung kukorek yung mga tao nag, uh, nagpo-pronounce ng YouTube. Tama rin po yan, okay? Gandang hapon po, manonood mula sa bansang Pilip Pilipinas. There you go. Ayun, no? <laughs> Tom Rodriguez, o, oh, diba? Sabi ko na nga, bay, alam mo rin nakahawig ng picture mo si Tom Rodriguez. O, baka si Tom Rodriguez to, may don't gumogda, ha? Okay? Hindi ba? Ikaw ba yan? Okay. And then, uh, Nick Knock YouTube channel. <laughs> Alright, maraming po salamat. At uh, guys, uh, tapos na naman tayo ng isang episode ng Communicate, being the best communicator that you are. Tuloy-tuloy pa natin ito. Pero kung gusto nyo mag-iba tayo ng topic, kasi tatlong klase ng topics na pwede natin i-cover dito, no? Yung English language proficiency na ginagawa na natin ngayon, yung interpersonal or interdepartmental communication na pwede niyong gamitin sa trabaho para kayo'y makarelate well with other people, tsaka yung intrapersonal. Yes, kinakausap din po natin ang ating sarili. That's more of motivational, inspirational. Request na po kayo, okay? Kayo ang boss ko. Kung ano ang gusto niyong uh, makita o kung anong gusto niyong uh, mapakinggan at kung ano ang gusto niyong mapag-aralan, okay? Nandito po ako. That's why I'm called Mentor. I'm here to uh, guide you to your personal definition of success every step of the way. Muli guys, maraming salamat. Oh, by the way, mag-a-announce lang po pala ako bago tayo magpaalam, no? So, uh, it's gonna be enter, train, the enter, trainer. Everything you need to know about learning and development. That's 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Tuloy pa rin po yun, ha? At pakabangan nyo kung ano magiging topic natin. Ipopost natin sa mga Facebook uh, pages natin kung ano yung uh, lesson. Baka maging uh, interesante para sa inyo. Pero yung pong at naku, Medyo malas tayo sa, ano, no? sa ating uh, business productivity and or work excellence show yung uh, don't just be busy, be productive kasi hindi pa tayo nagpe-premiere episode. Kasi po sa BNS, meron po akong uh, second day ng aking uh, two-session, four-hour webinar entertainment and online selling and marketing for a dear client. Eh, Magko-conflict yon kasi one to five. Kaya pakabangan nyo kung kailan uh, magsisimula ang very first episode ng don't just be busy, be productive. Work Excellence and Business Productivity 
show. Okay, may umabal pa dito. Thanks, mentor, for sharing. God bless you more. So ako, pakiusap ko lang po, no? Libre po ito. So hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon, nakaka-experience tayo ng libreng pagkatuto. Kaya ang request ko lang po sa inyo, parang yun na po yung bayad nyo sa akin. Okay, I, uh, let's share this around. Let's ensure that this reaches a lot of people who want their communication skills to be improved. Okay? So for now, guys, enjoy the remainder of your... Or magkamali ako. Wednesday, ito po ang inyong lingkod, Mentor Mylon Santana, saying bye for now. Ciao! <clears throat>